The search for America's best cake decorator is on. Okay. <laughs> I know that a lot of this is about techniques, so I wanted to incorporate different techniques and different styles of just decorating in general. So I plan on doing some royal icing decoration as well as some um, fondant flower shapes, like dried ones and fresh ones. And then also some like texture with lace, imprinting a little lace in it with a little shimmer. Oh, the most difficult thing I think I'm gonna have with this challenge is definitely the time. 15 minutes isn't very long, four cupcakes, I want to make them pretty intricate, so I think time's definitely going to be the hardest part. The cupcakes that I'm making are inspired by Alice in Wonderland. I think it will be one of the tougher challenges because it, we only have 15 minutes to complete it, and I plan on making all the little fondant pieces during that 15 minutes. So I'm really challenging myself here. Hopefully I'll get done on time. These are our famous creme brulee cupcakes. Aside from us using the best ingredients out there and using non-hormone dairy and organic ingredients, my cupcakes are going to stand out because I'm using another element to it um, besides just topping the cupcake with buttercream. I'm actually going to be dipping it with in sugar and torching it with a torch. So the theme on the cupcakes that I'm doing is sort of a harvest fall color scheme um, and do some little fondant pumpkins for the top and try to do some really cute little red fallish leaves. I am particularly just got really burnt out on the cupcake fads, so it's just kind of not something that we, we will we'll do them for sure, and we do them really cute, but it's just not something we really try to push. I would rather not decorate a cupcake. I would rather decorate a seven tier grand beautiful wedding cake. I feel like cupcakes are so saturated right now in the market. Everyone has a cupcake shop in every single corner. And so I feel like it's, it's, it's kind of on its way out. I think I'm a little bit rushed, but I will get it done in time. I'm using some of the fondant and rolling it over the lace so that it gets imprinted. And it's not too noticeable, but once I'm gonna actually paint it with some luster dust and it's gonna pick up all the little nooks and crannies. So just like creme brulee, we're gonna brulee the sugar, make sure it caramelizes nice and well. And I don't want too big of a flame because I don't want to scorch these cupcakes. There's a trick to this, you want to keep the flame moving because if you keep it in one spot, then your cupcake will burn. So I'm trying to keep it moving, making sure all the crystals of sugar are melted. I'm a huge, huge fan of tiny detail work for sure because it just adds that extra pizzazz. So once we put the luster dust, you'll see how it kind of jumps in those cracks and really makes the veins pop out quite a bit more that are in the leaves. I think that luster dust adds just tons of yeah character and just takes your flat matte fondant look to something just shiny and iridescent and under the lights it looks really cool. Um, and it's just a really simple tip to give other bakers too. It just adds, adds a lot with you know, not doing a whole lot to it. Just a quick little brush stroke and it takes it up a notch. This is a technique where you pipe royal icing down and you kind of pull in that outer rim of icing that you put in and it makes it look like a flower. So you just pipe this little line of icing, of royal icing, and then you pull in. You gotta be really minimal so that the brush strokes will show. Come on, little guys. This is a creme brulee, creme anglaise buttercream, which creme anglaise is the base recipe to a creme brulee. And there's vanilla bean in it, there's um, egg yolks, heavy cream. So this buttercream actually tastes like creme brulee. This is sugar garnish. Basically, um, we take sugar, we heat it up, and melt it down, and then make a pattern with it, and then it becomes hard again. I feel like I'm doing pretty good on time and I kind of messed one of my leaves up earlier and I didn't think that I'd have time to re-roll it, but I think I'm kind of ahead of the clock here, so I'm gonna redo another leaf for that last cupcake. So I'm running out of time. I have quite a bit left to do, um, but 
I think I'll, I'll finish right on time. I might have to hurry up and get a lot of these little details that, that I want on there, but I think I'll, I'll be able to finish everything on time. I just, I think I might be pushing it a little bit because I'm making everything in this 15 minutes. With the last two cupcakes, I spent a good amount of time on the other two, so with these, I know I'm just gonna have to bust them out really fast and just get it on there. <laughs> have done anything different with these cupcakes. We offer these cupcakes on a normal basis in our offerings and it's one of our best sellers. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with them. I think they look pretty cute. I don't think I would have done anything differently. I mean, just with how dainty they are, I kind of really like that and they're really clean and um, there's not a ton of fuss on them. I don't think it's the best when you want to eat a cupcake and you have to take off tons of decorative pieces on the top to actually bite through the cake. So I like that they're really simple and clean and yeah, I like the color scheme. I, th I don't think I'd change anything. Now that I'm done, I, I feel pretty good about the cupcakes. I think that if I had a little bit more time, I would have made the legs and arms of the, the little card guy out of fondant so it matched everything else. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it within 15 minutes for the four cupcakes that I that I produced. Finished. Not disappointed, I just had, I'd started with a different idea, so I guess the fact that it changed so fast kind of threw me off. And so in a way I'm not as happy as I was because my original plan wasn't achieved. But overall, I mean it's alright. <laughs>